It's fine. We'll have this we got this. Okay. Machines are doing the work in this competition. But the real action is at the controls. Meet the brains behind the bots. This robot specifically, this is our intake bot. So that bot is our scoring bot. The robots are racing, trying to move balls around the net. They're keeping score inside the hall at Vaughn College of Aeronautics and Technology in East Elmhurst, Queens. The annual robotics competition is serious business, making moves, troubleshooting on the go. Sometimes it's an easy fix. We figured out that one of the, the motors was unplugged. Ian Chambers is a sophomore at Vaughn. He's studying mechatronic engineering. Mechatronic engineering is basically an overview of, of a lot of different aspects of engineering, mechanical, electrical, as well as some computer science. The students from eight colleges designed and built the motorized creations during the past six months. They have to complete a series of tasks in a certain amount of time and score points. Every year it's a new game. Chris Walker from Long Island is a senior at Vaughn. You can actually apply what you're learning, and it gives you a better understanding of what you're doing in the classroom, and you're not just sitting in front of a textbook all day. The students are looking ahead to a bright future, putting their education and skills to the test. It's always hands-on. There's a shortage for everyone, and Vaughn has everyone. So they're just able to be like, oh, here's an engineer, here's a pilot. Mike Hefner is studying to be a commercial pilot. Vaughn College is known for its graduates working in the fields of aviation and engineering and for a record number of students who get jobs after they get their degrees. Our main goal is go as fast as possible, score as possible, and get an over the bar. By the end of the weekend, students at the high school and college level will have moved on to the next level of competition. Vaughn College has been been turning out experts in the fields of aeronautics and engineering for going on 100 years.